All right, you hear of jumping a starter? I'm going to show you how to do it. This test will test your starter signal. So if your starter does turn over like this, it means your starter's good and it's not getting the signal to start. All right, now let's talk about what these terminals on the starter actually do. Now this here, the big part, that's your starter motor. And it gets its power from the starter solenoid. That little solenoid, that's the solenoid. It's a little smaller on top of the starter. Now, the solenoid will have battery power. So this one will go straight up to the battery. So that's a battery cable. And this one will just go give power straight to the starter motor and engage the starter motor. So on your starter solenoid here, the small one, that's your signal wire. So that's the S terminal and that gives you the signal. So it gives the power to the solenoid and that will bridge these two. So it gives the, the battery power straight through to this terminal, which goes straight up to the starter and will engage the starter and start your engine. We'll try to see if the solenoid's good and it's just not getting the signal. So we'll go from this terminal, that's the battery terminal, straight to the, oops, straight to the S terminal. And that obviously turns it over. Or you could just go straight from the battery terminal with some jumper wires. This these jumpers have the end removed here and go straight to the straight to the S terminal, the small one. If you jump power to the starter power terminal on the other side of the starter solenoid, then you'll hear the starter motor turn over, but the pinion won't engage the flywheel, so the engine won't turn over and the engine will not start. Now this is a slow motion close-up view of an engine starting. This is with the transmission out and a view from the back of the engine. Now, this is the starter pinion here. This is what engages on uh, the part of the starter that engages on the flywheel and turns the engine over to start your engine now when you turn your key it'll engage the starter pinion to push out by a solenoid winding and then another winding will hold it out so when you release the key the pinion will return by spring and free spin so if you were to turn the key with the engine turning and the flywheel would be turning, the pinion would be come out and be spun over, over speed by the flywheel. But the pinion can free spin that way anyway, so it'll prevent any damage from happening. If jumping power to the S terminal doesn't turn your starter over, and you know you have good power, get somebody to hold the key while you hit the starter with a hammer. Yeah, you want to make sure your key is turned on and your vehicle is in park with the uh, park brake on.